Dear Journal, I'm on a mission. Multiple missions. I know, that's batshit insane. Just like cursing the first 15 seconds of a YouTube video. What's the matter, advertisers? Scared of a little guano? I'm at my favoriteest place in New Jersey, who I- I know I make fun of you a lot, but your recreational marijuana and your lovely chunk of woods right by the Delaware here, well, I can forgive you for Newark Airport. Objective 1. See if the 10-mile hike I have mapped out through various parks and lands is a viable loop to take my son on without having to trespass on private property or engage in cannibalism. Objective 2. Retrieve my fake rock cache of the shamrock. Pause for respect in my name choice for a fake rock cache, thank you. The one I took from a long, inactive, and archived cache listing that I placed on Bald Bay Mountain when I lived closer to it. Objective 3. Grab a few caches along the way. I've cleared out most of the area, but there's still caches lingering like a fart in church. I'm looking at you, Father Pete. I'm starting out at Washington Crossing Park, where I know there's some old doodad, some, some contraption of some sort. Journal, I'm uh, about to get my hike on. Go for that 10 miles. Just thought I'd stop at the old contraption. It does things. No, this is a... This is an old lathe? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's all... Ba -dun -dun -dun, la -la -la -la. Yeah, I remember using that music before in a previous video and I got a copyright hit, so... Ba -dun -dun -ba -dun -ba -dun. Anyway, road, there is a nearby mystery cache called F.U. Shorties, not really, which I retrieved to get the magic clue to find the cache. The secret ultraviolet words that you can't hopefully see instruct me to head up this way, but I'm not going that way, I'm going the other way. So now you see that my video title is not clickbait, and in fact there is 10 miles between stages, so I need to get walking with minimal distractions. Hmm, I should point out two things. The first thing is that I only have my planned route to show you here. My GPS tracks ended up corrupt, and not the fun kind of corrupt that gets loaked and loony, so I can't show my exact route, which ended up being 11.6. 7 miles. Second thing is, I am doomed to always, and I mean always, check out the abandoned outdoor playhouse you may have seen in various states of disrepair in previous centuries. So I'm not gonna video the whole thing again, but while enjoying the atmosphere, I noticed a new and inviting opening. All these open... Well, I gotta check that out. I mean, come on, that's just asking me to go in. I have to open the big fucking chest. I just have to. It's empty. 2012. I'll take this star. I don't know why I took it. Reminds me of Zener cards, I guess. Good guess, but wrong. <laughs> Let me bring your songs from the woods. To make you feel much better than you could know. It's a house for the little people. Dust you down from tip to toe. Show you how their garden grows. That's right, I'm not singing the main part. Journal I got complacent listening to the same song over and over and was just walking without thinking and I've blown off trail a quarter mile. I'm course correcting now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm a tall boy. Is that is that really a problem here? If I'm not mistaken, there is or was a cash on out there, Johnny. Jesus with the woodpeckers. Real cashers just busted. <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. Sorry, afraid of the copyright bots again, but you can never have too many Ghostbusters references. The next clip, roughly at the halfway point, is on the road that leads up to the visitor center of Bald Bait Mountain. Nice and paved, with several caches on it that I never got because I always take another route. There's a cache and some rocks just off the road, and after doing a snake check, I made the find. No snakey, no snakey, no snakey. Uh. Oh, there's people coming, Journal. I got shit all out. Quick. Looks like you're doing something else. Uh, 
I know there are a bunch of you out there that have no problem doing your caching in public. Doesn't matter if anyone sees you, but that's just not me. And personally, I think it looks way weirder to have all the cash stuff out, Tupperware and weird trinkets, when someone walks by. But in the end, the lesser of two weirds just sitting there still looks kind of weird. Howdy. Yep. Just a guy on the side of the road in a pile of rocks. It's a, a shark tooth. I actually found this in a cache a long time ago. You can see the shark tooth there. The primary remains of ancient sharks are their hard, durable teeth. Of course, I had to put my sticker on it. I can't help myself. That's going in. Well, I deserve a bit of a rest. So, I'm gonna take a rest, eat all the snacks in my snack box, and then move on. Burr. Now that all that uphill is behind me, I can focus on some caches up here, and I was happy to be informed in my Discord that a CO placed one at possibly the most bucolic spots in the area. There used to be many old buildings on this unused farm, but now all that is left is this old well house. I don't know if the CO was playing with me, but in the Discord they said there was a flatty in here. Eh. I don't know about that. I already looked at the clue. Well, of course I looked at the clue. I always look at the clue. And he was just playing with me and my disdain for flatties. So after I found the small cache, I stopped to take in the sights, sounds, and smells in this rather perfect spot. Of course, the one time I have it fucking pointed at me, all sorts of cool ass birds are flying down that way. Oh my fucking legs. Yeah, there's another little house here. It's nothing, but it does have a medicine cabinet. What do you think's in the medicine cabinet? Jack shit. Look, we all knew it was going to be jack shit, but as I've said before, you still have to check. Good morning, or good afternoon. Good day. Uh, morning, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No time for chit chat, I have to rescue my cache. I knew in advance that my cache sits in or right at the edge of the forbidden zone, which is what I call the area of the trail that they closed due to erosion. Obviously it wasn't that way when I placed the cache and it will not be part of future hikes, but for now, with my limited energy, I must take my chances with the erosion and overgrowth. See, it says for my safety. Ooh, cannot go back. Must move forward. Really hope this is a path and not some stream that I'm following down. Although I guess down is good. Oh fucking boy. Oh fucking boy am I fucking caught in it. Oh, there you go, you little whore. I've traveled through the forbidden zone. Ha ha ha! Well, I knew I wasn't gonna make the whole day uh, without getting one of these guys. Pew pew pew! Uh oh. I can't. <laughs> I just flick them into my shoe. You know I'm tired when I just grab the phone and record vertically. The area where my fake stone was placed is now covered by all sorts of fallen trees and debris, possibly purposely felled right at the entrance to the Forbidden Zone. So I have to chalk it up as a loss, despite giving it a valiant effort to find it. I'll just step on it. Oh. Hopefully someone will place a cache here in the future since it still is a pretty cool sight and who knows, maybe they will find the shamrock and continue its tale. For me, I finished off a hike's last mile and found the second stage to the ultraviolet cache, a standard hide that I didn't record apparently, so I wrapped up and headed home to have the burger I couldn't cook because you can't have a fire anywhere I was today. Journal, nothing makes bargain basement beer tastes like nectar of the gods, like a 10 mile hike. It just doesn't matter what kind of beer it is. It, it hits the spot. Uh, yeah, gotta pour, gotta pour a little out for 
Shamrock. Yes, the custom fake rock cash loss is a sting, and that may make this journal ending a bit anticlimactic, but if it's one thing I was good at when I was younger, it's anticlimaxes. I'm looking at you, Father Pete. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He was never formally charged, but he did have terrible gas, so my earlier joke about a fart in a church still stands. I <laughs> can't help but feel I lost a few subscribers here. Oh well, be safe out there, journal. <laughs>